Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this amazing grace, and this is pretty cool. And there is some watermarks on it. And I, I've got mixed feelings about using somebody else's product, and that's why they put the watermarks on. But if you would take that little bitty, if you get rid of it, if you hit delete, and I've got a red background, so you've got a hole. Now that could be fixed with the shape tool, but why do it when you can just turn it black? And then I've, if you notice, this is true black through RGB and this isn't. So we're going to make this true black. And there's one right there. Make it black. And let's look around, see if we see any others. There's one right there. Make it black. Right here. Make it black. And then there's some other, probably in these other words, I'm going to set my nudge distance on like 18 inches and I'm going to nudge up the A and nudge up the other part of the word and we'll, we'll take a good look at it now. And I must have hit the A twice. Yes, I did. So let's move the word back up. And if you look at it, I've still got, I've still got two more. And this is what I'm saying about the shape tool. You could get rid of this, but it would be a pretty time consuming and you might not get the font exactly like it was. You can delete all these and then grab, grab these two nodes and right click and turn them into a line. But that's not how the font went, but you could do it. So I'm not saying you can't do it. Uh, and you could smooth it out, but there's actually a, a way you can do it better. So let's just back up here and we must have missed those two parts. And they might be behind it. So we're gonna grab the word itself, go to object, order, back a page, and there they are. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take that and make it a red. Make sure this is the same red. Take that and make it a red. Take this and make it a red. Now we'll have to move it. We've got all the A's. We're gonna to have to move those parts, so we're already on there, so we're gonna click that. And then we're gonna move. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm gonna go in and uh, lock that red. So now I can't grab it. Now let's get, well, it's not really a red, it's a, uh, that's the background. So I shouldn't have used a red. And um, tell you what, let's use a different color. Let's make that blue. And now we can see the black. And let's take that, turn that to that blue. And what I would do is go ahead and nudge that up while you got it. Turn that to blue and nudge it up. Turn that blue and nudge it up. And then nudge up the whole word now you've got a blue, which you could grab everything and we've got one more. Make that blue. And if you see, you could probably kind of imagine there's still a line there. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it all black because that's what you want. And then we're gonna select it all. We're gonna go to object and we're gonna combine it. And now that line should be gone and it is. And then just move your A up. Now this is the most watermarks I've ever seen that are in letters. So we still got that little part of the black. So we need to move it up. All you're doing is filling up the holes. And then we need to select all of that and combine it. And now it's all one piece. Now what we can try to do is look at left click, right click, and those pieces are still there. But if they're in an interior line, we should be able to delete them. They should not cause you a problem unless you're cutting them out. And this is a hairline, but we could do this. And then you make sure you're done. Cause what we did, we, we basically combined it. So there's a, an outside line 
you just take your time to do this and and then we could always and there's a little bit of rough spot there let's go ahead and do them all so we can be finished just take your virtual segment delete and you might be able to take no, it's because we can bind them. We could try to go to object and break the curve apart and then grab that. I'm going to hit delete. It's going to delete everything but what I wanted. So what we could do is nudge that out of the way and then delete that and delete that and then nudge that back. And now we got rid of all those interior line. Well, we still need one more. And that one's really messed up. But let's look at it. Yeah, you can't really do that. We're going to have to use a smart fill tool. And this one would be pretty easy to fix because you could bring that node down to there, that node down to there, and now you could delete the interior parts. I'm sorry I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be. Because once you have all the interior lines broken up, then use your smart fill tool and fill that in with black and move it up, fill that in with black. And I've actually got another copy up here. Let's just see if we can't delete all this. Well, let's just take our new one and move it over. So now you have a pure black with no lines because we can look at it like this. And you've got all hairline. Now this would be the time you'd want to maybe smooth out some little parts that uh, might have been interfered. I don't really see any, like right there. If you have X7 or above, take your smoothing tool, click on that and just smooth that out. Maybe right in there just a little bit. And then just use this, this smart fill tool and always nudge it over because get rid of that outline. And there you have that word. Now you're going to have to do that to all this. And I've kind of looked at the notes look clear. The notes, I don't think, have anything behind them. Well, on that particular one, they don't. I've kind of been working on it before. Anyway, that's pretty cool design. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.